What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. Today we're going to continue working on the RX-7. Our Mishimoto radiator just got delivered as well as our calipers. So let's go ahead and bust those open and start installing them on the cars. Here they are. So these were the original calipers. They were imported from Canada. So the shipping did take a little longer. All right guys, so we got our Mishimoto radiator in place on the RX-7. I really love the attention to detail. That M right there is for Mazda. It's pretty unique how this radiator sits on this car. Every other car I worked on, it was always up and down. Before I buckle all this up, I do have to wait for our radiator fans to come in so I can see what the fit it looks like. But it does look like our radiator hoses, the setup isn't going to work. This lower one right here is a little bit too long and this one right here is too short. I could take care of all that. For now, let's go ahead and jump on our brake calipers. Get those back on the car so that we could bleed our brakes. So here's our used brakes. They are the four piston Mazda original brakes. They're in pretty rough shape, but we're going to clean all those up later on. And it did come with some brake pads. They're in pretty good shape. I've got some new ones we're going to replace after a couple thousand miles. Alrighty guys, so we are back on the RX-7. It's been a week or so since we worked on this car. We've been a little busy with the new builds that we got for the channel. Not sure where we left off, but we got the Mishimoto radiator all in place and we got our pulley puller set up. Let's go ahead and take this off. And if you don't own one of these tools, that's the part number right there, but you can always rent this from AutoZone and not sure how they make their money. You get every dollar back once you return this within 60 days. So let's go ahead and get this off and get a new one installed. So I am just going to do it manual. You could use some power tools, but we don't have the room for them. Let me turn this one around. There we go. <sighs> Trying to be a little fighter right there. Look at that, it's coming off. You see that space right in between there? Sometimes these can be a little stressful to get off. There we go, baby. Nice and easy. After we get the new one on and in place, man, this thing's gonna be back on the road here in no time. Woo! There we go. And I'll show you guys how to install a new one. You have to use a different setup right over here, which it includes it in the kit. But what do you guys think about us running this cold air right through the hood so we get that fresh cold air right into the manifold? I think it's a good idea. Go get the grinder. Let's go ahead and just cut a hole right over here. I think it's gonna line right up. All right, so now that we got our pulley off, we can get to the bolts right over here. And I don't think we need to replace our power steering pump. I think it's just the reservoir. We got one. Let me go ahead and get this line loose. Ah, it wasn't too tight. Hopefully we don't have any other fluid in there. I don't think we do since we broke one of our nipples. There she goes. Yup, just two bolts and you can't get them without taking that pulley off. I wonder if we got to replace the whole pump or just this reservoir, what do you think? I'm sure it comes separate. But... I don't think you can replace the actual reservoir without replacing the pump. I don't see how it... 
How would you take that reservoir off off the pump? That's what I don't understand. Right man. here, you got the clips. Because O'Reilly was already offering me just the reservoir without the power steering pump. But if anything, we'll upgrade the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And go with like a metal pulley or something like that. Man, check out that custom bracket there. Oh, yeah. That's all custom right there. What does that say? Dirty dingo? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty dingo, guys. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for tonight. We got our power steering off. It's already late. To go check out our local parts store to see if they have that in stock. If they don't, we're going to go ahead and place the order online and get that reinstalled. But we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day in the Danny TV garage. I just got back from the local rallies and I had to order that steering pump. He's going to have it within the next two hours. It's coming out of Atlanta. And based off the pictures, I think I can make it work. But we're not going to know for sure until we bolt it on. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and take our radiator back out. Our Mishimoto radiator fan has came in, and they should just be a direct bolt-on. Hopefully, it clears right over there. So let's go ahead and get this out and start piecing it all together. We also got a universal AC condenser since the Mazda one has been discontinued, so we're going to have to tweak with some brackets to make that work. But let's go ahead and piece all this together. And we also just threw on our original bumper just to see what the fitment looks like, and I got to say it's pretty much spot on. If it's like 99.9% .9 better than this one right here. So let me know if I should just go ahead and try to fix this one. We got a little damage right here. And then this right here has a little dip in it that we could take care of. And this gap is going to be just like this one right here. But it fits up so much better than this one. Or if I should just play around with this one and try to make this one work. I'm going to have to redo some of these fiberglass brackets. But I got a good buddy that's going to help me out on that. So let me know down on the comments if you like the original bumper. Or if I should install this one right here. Just the fitment on this one is just horrible. But let's go ahead and get this radiator out. Check this out guys, we got our radiator fans all mocked up and I gotta say they fit spot on. Maybe just a little bit of drilling on this one right here. But I really like the attention to detail and this specific radiator setup is made for the RX-7 with an LS swap. So we're gonna have the proper cooling we need. They do provide all the hardware and we're gonna go ahead and bolt all this together and then start lining it up in here. All right, so we got our fans assembled to the radiator. Check these suckers out. They bolted right up. The only thing I'll do different, probably just make this bolt right here a little bit longer. I couldn't get a thread locker like this on it, but I got those nice and tight. I don't think they're going anywhere. Now to complete this, we just have to get our AC condenser mounted. And here's the universal one I went with. That's who I bought it from. Those are the dimensions and that's the part number. I'm gonna go something like that right there. But since this isn't designed for it, we are going to have to make some brackets. I've already started on one right here. So I'm just going to have to make another one of these and get this right here welded something like that. And it's going to line up with our holes just like that. But I am going to leave the welding up for the professional. My pop is going to take care of it in just a little bit. I don't want to heat this up too much and ruin this radiator, but for now, we just got a call from O'Reilly saying that our power steering pump has came in. So let's go ahead and pick that up and see if we can make it work. Just a quick little update on the BMW. We still have our parking light on. I tried disconnecting the battery. We have another code that I have to take care of. Not too concerned about that, but I do travel with my scanner. Just in case we get a random check engine light, I could get it off. But the car is running great, so let's go ahead and get inside and see if we can make this pump work. Alright guys, so we got our AC condenser all mocked up. We went ahead and made two even brackets on that. We do have plenty of adjustments if needed, but we went ahead and centered it up with our radiator. We got the welder all set up using the old radiator, so we're all ready to go. Let's go ahead and weld these on.
Alrighty guys, so we got our brackets all welded on. Stan the man did a phenomenal job getting all those centered up. So I do have my holes marked. I've got this piece of metal right here, just in case I slip through with my drill bit, I don't damage the radiator. So let's go ahead and make these holes so that we can bolt this sucker on. Alright guys, so here's the power steering pump that we picked up yesterday and they pretty much look identical. If you look at the three mounting points, they pretty much line up. I just have to drill out this thread right here where this one, the bolt goes all the way through and goes on that bracket right over there. But taking a closer look at it, if you look at my mounting holes, when they're horizontal, our tank is up and down. If I was to put this one just like that, you can see where the reservoir is pointing. So this one's not gonna work. I did a little bit more research and found a better part number. Hopefully the third time's a charm and we hit the nail on the head. Last night we got our AC condenser bolted down. Check that out. It's nice and sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Now that we got the complete cooling system together, we're gonna go ahead and start putting it in the car. Hopefully I don't have to take that back apart and we could fit it in one assembly. I'm probably gonna take that front bumper off and work from underneath since we got a bunch of lines right over here. So let's run down to the local O'Reilly's. I just got a call saying that the new pump came in and see if we can get it to work. All right guys, so after running around a few different parts stores, we finally came up with the same pump that I am running. Here's the part number if you are looking for one just like this. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a pulley. Here's the GM part number, but neither Napa, O'Reilly's, Advance, None of the local parts stores were able to pull that up, so I went ahead and placed the order online. So everything's gonna line up. I don't have to drill anything. The only thing I have to take off is that fitting. So let's go ahead and get this power steering pump back on the car, and then we'll probably jump on to taking the front bumper off so that we can mount our cooling system. Check this out. This thing is looking stout right here. I'm sure it's gonna give it the proper cooling, and I would like to upgrade our radiator hoses but unfortunately none of the local parts stores carry like the silicone hoses. So I will place an order online, we can upgrade that. Not sure what the difference is, but this is what we took out. This is the plug. And then what we had was a spring and this right here and this fitting right here. So that's gonna connect right to our power steering line. So let's go ahead and put all this back in the new pump. All right guys, so we got the power steering pump on. All of our hoses are nice and tight. Sucks we don't have our pulley today. We can't install our belt, but all we have to do is top it off with some fluid. But for now, let's go ahead and get our cooling system and see if we can install it in one assembly. Let's go. So the cooling system isn't gonna work in one assembly. I do have to take our AC condenser off. There's just not enough room for the radiator to lay down on those mounts right over here. So let's go ahead and get this AC condenser off and try it that way. 
So we got the AC condenser off the radiator. Let's go ahead and see if it'll fit with our fans. Hopefully we don't have to take those off. I cleaned some of these hoses up right here so it'll give us a little bit more room. Took the lower radiator hose off. So let's go ahead and give it a test then. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this episode. We made some good progress on the RX-7. I'm so happy to have our radiators installed. As soon as we get a few more parts in for the car, we could top our fluid off, which will be in the next episode. Stay tuned for that. With all this being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. It does help the channel out. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Follow us on Instagram at danny.tv to get an inside sneak peek there before YouTube. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.